Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE electric bike platform rack right here on our 2022 Toyota Tundra. So this has an impressive weight capacity for your extra heavy electric bikes, a bit more than what you would usually find on an electric bike rack. So for that reason, if you have those super heavy duty electric bikes, this can carry that with your Tundra. We're gonna go through those specs, we're gonna go through those measurements, but we're gonna focus on our truck here today. That way you can see what is the better fit for you, your different types of bikes, and your truck. The first thing we'll take a look at is the tilt away feature. So we have this clip here. You're gonna to wanna to move that clip so that way you can pull out this pin. You may have to lift up on the rack to do so. And then the next step is to support the rack as you press the, or pull this knob. Once that spring pin is released, then your rack will go down to a tilt. Now it's not really a deep tilt though, especially compared to some other racks. So if you do want to lower your tailgate and access your truck bed, this right here is about as far as you can lower your tailgate. Good enough if you need to reach something real quick, but not enough for full access. So that is the downside to this tilt away feature with our Tundra. To bring this back up, you just lift up, that spring pin latches into place, giving you the clearance and the time to put back that pin and secure it with that clip. So this has a weight capacity of 80 pounds per bike, very impressive. So for those extra heavy electric bikes, perfectly fine. And that's because of the way this is built as, as, as the way it holds down your bikes. So we have two loops here. Then inside those wheel loops, we have this strap. So that strap secures our bikes by the wheel. We have that rubber part on top, giving extra stability as well as cushion for those straps. Then we have the stabilizing hooks. So these secure your bike by the frame. If you have alternate frame bikes, let's say you have your women's bikes or your step through bikes, since this holds it by the frame, you may need to get a frame adapter bar in order to reach down that far. Now these frames can be locked. There's a lock core right on the button there. So that way you can access or secure the entire system with just one key. So two bikes and your bike rack. We'll talk about that one later. But when you wanna take your bike off, you start over here by the wheel straps. You press this lever and then you lift up on the strap. Just pull that all the way out until it's out of the way. The way Hollywood Racks does it is you can just swing this to the side so it doesn't get caught up in your spokes. That's gonna be one strap. Here's our second strap. There's pretty good clearance here between our tailgate and our bike. And once those are all disengaged, you can then go over to your frame out. Once this is unlocked, you can press the button on this itself. There's the top one. And here's our bottom hook holding our back bike. Now this will be tricky depending on where you have your bike set up or how big of a bike it is. So as you can see here, I have to tilt it towards our tailgate and then just maneuver it around our hooks. Once we get clear, we can then go and take this off completely. So here we're gonna lower our mask completely and then secure it with the pin. So we have these wheel hoops here that can move side to side. It can be tricky getting them all lined up though, but you do have these knobs that allow you to loosen and tighten the hoops. You then get a maximum wheelbase of up to 60 inches. The hoops themselves are pretty wide. So if you have your fat tire bikes of up to five inches wide, perfectly fine with those especially with the way the straps go around those wheels and secure right over there. Don't forget you have that rubber strip on top for extra cushion. Now this adds a little bit of length to the back of our Tundra. So we'll take some measurements to see exactly how much. I'm gonna measure here from our bumper to the end of the rack, which is by this strap, and that sits at 30 inches of length. Since you already have a big truck, if you are limited on the size of your garage or whenever you're backing into a tight spot, don't forget that measurement. Now measuring for ground clearance, that's gonna be from the end of the rack by this hoop to the ground, it's 26 inches. Compare that to the shank, which is 18 inches. So you have a little bit of a shank rise there. 
helpful for those other vehicles that are not the Chandra and have limited ground clearance. In our case here, since our truck is higher up off the ground, that's going to be something you're going to have to think about when you're lifting up those 80 pound bikes. But what if you're not planning out on going for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't want to take your bike rack off? I personally say go ahead and drive around with it in this position. That way you can lower your tailgate all the way down. There's clearance there. But if you don't have enough space in your garage or you don't want to take up extra space compared to what you already are taking up with the Tundra, you can fold this up. So you're going to have some pins and clips here that you're going to have to remove in order to fold up. So let's take this pin out. Then we're going to pull on this spring-loaded lever. So the same process as when we tilt it away. But this time, we're going to push up on the rack. The other lever immediately catches it. I do recommend putting the clip away as well to secure it with it in the up position. Taking some more measurements in the compact position. The closest point is going to be from your bumper to right where your mount is, and that sits at five and a half inches away, so plenty of clearance there. Length now added to the back of our Tundra is from the bumper end of the bike rack, which is by our anti-rattle bolt, is 16 inches. So big difference compared to when this is folded down. Um, you can see how it doesn't take up as much space compared to when you're driving around town with two bikes on there. So your two inch shank fits into your two inch hitch receiver. You have a hitch pin and a lock. That lock is actually key to like to the locks you found on your frame mount. So one key to access the entire system. And the way this tightens down is it has an interesting um, hitch alignment. You just pop it in there. Then you have it lined up with your stopper on the inside. So you pull on that stopper by rotating this knob or this lever. So this creates an anti-rattle effect. So to demonstrate, we're gonna shake our bike rack back and forth just to simulate that road movement and vibration. Pretty much the truck is moving at this point. So that means our connection is nice and secure. Very important once you have all those heavy bikes on there. So my personal thoughts about the Hollywood Rack Sport Rider SE is, if you have those bikes that are over 60 pounds, this might be one of your only options for being able to carry them around safely and securely. This is designed for those extra heavy electric bikes. The downside to this rack is you are gonna have to lift those extra heavy electric bikes onto the rack. It can be very tricky as you saw earlier with getting it around that frame mount and then taking the bike back off. So that is something you're gonna have to figure out. You can move these hoops back and forth just to get the best clearance for you around your tailgate and your bike rack. But another option for you if your bikes do not need that full 80 pound weight capacity could be something like the Hollywood Racks Destination E. That's a great pairing with the truck. We did that one earlier today if you wanna check that one out. That one has a ramp to help you out. So not as much weight capacity, but a lot easier to use. Hopefully this video helped you out with seeing what different features you might like, might need, might want for you and your different types of bikes. And that was a look at the Hollywood Racks Sport Rider SE electric bike rack for your two electric bikes right here on our 2022 Toyota Tundra.